What's up everyone? Welcome to Days Gabe. It's your host Gabriel. Today I was heading out. I was gonna do a pre-trip and I thought, you know what? Want to get some blood pumping, get some upper body working, so why not? I started with some planks, make sure uh, I built up, got some blood pumping. Um, the key is that, you know, I don't want to injure myself. I'm behind the wheel a lot. It's been several weeks since I've done any upper body work and so I start with planks. I try to keep my core as straight as possible, keep my back aligned, and uh, just kind of activate those shoulder muscles uh, before I get into the actual push-ups. Here you can see I'm actually easing my way down. I continue with uh, a bit more work. This plank over here, it's kind of, uh, I hold the plank in mid position before I start doing these push-ups. And when I do the push-ups, I keep my legs apart and I really try to keep that uh, keep that back aligned. Um, I think my form looks a bit better here than in the beginning. Um, my head was a bit forward in the beginning, and I think that's that's that trucker posture. You know, we're sitting in the in, in the truck behind the wheel, uh, looking forward, hunched over, and uh, I've actually been kind of getting inspired with the uh, with the program that Prime has got out. Uh, I think it's called the Fit and 15. Now I haven't signed up for it officially yet, but uh, it's something I do want to check out. I think I'm weighing in at about 230 pounds, uh, so I've got some some room for improvement as far as my weight goes. Now here I start my pre-trip. Uh, I've got my landing gear down because I had some work performed on the truck the night before. And uh, I'll show you guys that in a little bit as I do the pre-trip. But um, just go ahead and uh, raise that landing gear. And then continue with the coupling section on the other side. Here you can see uh, the airlines are, are secure. Uh, I don't see any major disconnections, nothing out of the ordinary. Here, making sure there's no gap between the fifth wheel and the apron of the trailer. Um, make sure that latch is in. Next, I'm gonna go underneath. Take a quick peek at the airbags. Make sure that jaw is around the kingpin making sure uh, this is where uh, abrasions bulges and cuts like to hide on the uh, <laughs> on the inside wall of the tires and so I really like to look at those uh, that area there's that new brake chamber that's the work I got done last night uh, step around the side, make sure I've got some fuel. If I don't, looks like I'm good, but you know, if I don't, gotta make sure I incorporate that into the trip planning. Check the markers, lights, reflective gear, all that good stuff. I'm gonna check the rear axles by going in uh, underneath the, the trailer here. And you can see all looks good. I don't hear any leaks. Checking the airbags the inside walls all that good stuff a spare tire cross members are looking good check the rear side and see there you go I don't know what that string is uh, <laughs> not sure what that was about but went ahead and pulled that out brakes look good lines are secure nothing's hanging loose 
And that's about it. Man, this was just a beautiful day. It was uh, absolutely perfect weather. Crisp, 70 degrees out. It was nice and dry. As always, stay safe out there. Tomorrow's a new day. Take care.